Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I wanted to share with you my designer secrets on how to create a luxury look in your bathroom even if you are working on a budget. I've got some great tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you and I'll take you through how I saved money and how you can do the same. So make sure you hit subscribe. We love for you guys to hang out with us a little bit longer. We've almost hit 300,000 subscribers which is amazing and so cool and we're so delighted to have you guys part of our YouTube family and friends. It's it's just incredible, okay? It's just amazing. So we're so delighted. Give the video a thumbs up if you love to create a luxury look for less. I know I do. So I'm gonna give you all my secrets. Let's jump in. The first thing that I do in every single project that I ever do, whether it's my own home or not, is that I clean out, I clear out, I, just do not like to have a ton of clutter everywhere. And a lot of times people out of convenience just have their bottles of things, just lots of things sitting out. In the past, even I have played with having lots of things out and I find that it just really kind of downgrades the space. If you want to create a luxury look, that's what you're really after, then I suggest clearing things out and we're gonna need to upsize the items instead of having lots of little bottles of, you know, whether it's hairspray or hair gel, whether it's makeup, even perfume bottles. I try to really minimize how much stuff is out. I suggest getting some great organizers and putting things in the drawers as best you can. Now, I don't have a humongous space. So if you have a bigger countertop, you of course could have a few more things out or if you have a separate vanity, which I know a lot of times you might have that with a little chair, then you might be able to have some more perfumes and some things out. But if all you have is the counter space, I would not use this real estate <laughs> for clutter and lots of little things. What I wanna do instead is I want to upscale the items that I have out and I really wanna make the items that are out on the counter work for me. I want them and I'm gonna go through all those items, okay? <laughs> so the next thing that I like to do is that I really like to use sculpture in the bathroom to create a luxury look. The reason that sculpture, I think that the reason it creates a luxury look is because sculptures are usually something that they, they are more artistic. They typically cost a lot more money. In fact, if you were to go to an artist directly, you might spend a small fortune being able to buy one or two sculptures. And so for most people, sculptures are something that really aren't accessible. And that's why a lot of times they are in a luxury home. But thankfully nowadays we have all kinds of possibilities. And one of my favorite latest finds is this beautiful sculpture from CB2. It's heavy, it's substantial. Look at how amazing this thing is. It is cool. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna set it down so I, I don't sound like, you know, I'm straining to hold it, but it, it actually really is quite heavy. But there are pieces like this that are out there that you can really grab and they're way more affordable. I think that a sculpture just really adds a lot of sophistication. It can really add, I, I call it all the time, a voice. And I say that because this is your voice. It's your perspective. It's a sculpture that you find to be beautiful. If you find yourself erring on the side of a more traditional side, you could always put a bust or something like that here. I, I have a, a bust that I love. Like in CB2 actually sells one and you can put necklaces on it. You can have a lot of fun with stuff like that. I, but I think a sculpture will really elevate your space. The other thing that I've done is that I've used sculptural vases. These are a little bit more expensive because they are handmade and they are worth every last cent. I absolutely love them. But I'll leave you some links for some sculptural vases that are like this that you could definitely get for a lot less. These are just something that's really, really special to me. And to me, I think that these kinds of objects, even though they may seem like a little bit more of an investment up front, they are really going to give you a lot of bang for your buck and they're really gonna add that sort of that sort of luxe sophistication that you're really looking for. I think scale is really important on these pieces. I think going too small can just, they'll just kind of get lost. The next thing that I always do in every single project is that I always lay down a beautiful rug. 
In this room, I have the zebra rug. I love the zebra for this space because it really just, I needed something that was more amorphous. I have a, all different angles and it's kind of it kind of makes me a little bit crazy, but having a rug like that just really kind of keeps the space and the flow going. Now, if you don't have a crazy room like I do, you could definitely look at a beautiful runner if you have a nice rectangular shape in your bathroom. I always put that right in front of the vanity. I think it's really beautiful to have a great runner. You don't have to go crazy on budget. I know a lot of times people are like, oh, well, what if I spill something on it? Or I think that you could, of course, invest a lot more money into a runner and they do, you can have them cleaned. They're, it's not impossible to clean something just because it costs more money. And getting a spill on it doesn't mean the end of that rug. But if you're looking to save a little bit of money, I think some sources that are great, of course, places like West Elm and Pottery Barn have some really, really good, high quality rugs that are still affordable. Now, if you're looking to save even more money, places like Rugs USA, Rugs USA is one of my favorite places if I'm wanting to really save some money because they really have some great options. I also shop on Amazon actually a lot because a lot of the brands that might be available at Rugs USA are also available at Amazon. I even have an entire board on my Amazon storefront with rugs and I will leave a link for that as well so that you can check that out. But I think it's a great way to shop for a beautiful rug that'll really add a lot of sophistication. Next up, I think having beautiful towels is an absolute must if you're going to have a luxury bathroom. Now, that does not mean that it has to break the bank. And this tip actually comes along with our sponsor, which is Brooklyn and for today. Brooklinen is one of my favorite, favorite sources for luxury linen such as towels. They also sell incredible sheets. I have them on my bed right now and I love them. The great thing about Brooklinen is that it's from Brooklyn. I love that, I think it's so cool. I love the fact that they're really trying to cut out that middleman and so they are giving you one of the highest they are giving you a high quality uh, linen, like these beautiful towels that I've gotten here. I've got their, I don't remember the exact color. It's a, kind of like a taupish kind of beige color. I have their move-in towel bundle, which includes four bath towels, two hand towels, four washcloths, and one bath mat. It's smart to buy the bundle because you save 14% by buying the bundle versus buying separately. I'll, I'll put all the details down in the show notes for you. I absolutely love these. This is my own towel that I, I just like to keep a little washcloth by the sink for myself because not only does it kind of soften the whole look and really kind of give you that soft luxury feel, I just love having a little washcloth here. And then of course I have the beautiful set here. I've got them stacked right on top of my restoration hardware table and these towels are just perfect to have right by the shower or right by the tub and I think that the these Brooklyn I, I'm just telling you they have done an incredible job these are absolutely gorgeous these towels are the softest most comfiest and thankfully very absorbent I mean these are the important things right <laughs> they really are so luxe and I absolutely love them I actually have two sets this is one of them and I've been using them for a while, it's been a while, and I just love them. I think they're amazing, and they come in lots of different colors. So of course, if you wanna create more of a hotel style feel, then you would definitely go for their white set. I wanted something that was a little bit warmer because I have so much black and white in this room. I love the fact that these just really softened the room, but they have lots of different colors. You can match them to whatever style you have, and they are just going to last you a lifetime. They are the highest quality. You can go to brooklinen.com and snag my favorite towels today. Brooklinen is having their birthday sale running until May 4th where you can get 20% off all Brooklinen products using my link below. So definitely check out my link down below and also, um, yeah, get yourself a set or two. Maybe even something like the whole house because you're gonna love them. <laughs> and I love it when you can save money, right? I love that. So moving right along, one of my favorite, favorite things to do to really create a luxury look in the bathroom is to add greenery. I actually mentioned this in a video that I did about six months ago. That video was all about how to make your bathroom look more expensive. And this is a tip that I use no matter what style I'm doing. But to me, a luxury style is all about treating yourself. 
And it's not about necessarily looking the most expensive, but about treating yourself to these everyday items that make life just feel so good and so beautiful, which is why I love, you know, that's why I think the towels and, and the little things are so important because it's these little things that make it feel luxurious. And I think that every day can feel very luxe. And the simplest things that I've done here is that I have filled this base up with branches just literally from my yard. Everybody always asks me what kind of greens these are, and the truth is, is that I don't know, but I will try to take a picture of them and find out for you and leave it down below because I kid you not, these are just off the most average bush <laughs> in my yard. They're nothing fancy, but this is a great way of being able to bring greens and that very luxe feel into your bathroom, even if you don't have a window. Now, if you have a window, let me show you what else I've done. If you have a window, I think that putting a tree into your bathroom is quite possibly one of the most luxurious things you will ever do. So you can also use a tree, you could use a plant. If you have a window, live plants in the bathroom is one of my favorite ways of adding a very luxurious feel. This one is real, but you could also do a faux one if you don't, if you have space but you don't have the window. And I'll leave a link for one of my favorite faux uh, fig trees as well. They can be quite expensive, but uh, I think it's always worth the investment because even if they're real or they're faux, it just adds that feeling of luxury and a feeling of life, which to me is the ultimate luxury. I just think it really adds a lot. I also have down here this gorgeous little vase, which is very inexpensive. It looks so high end, but this one actually came from H&M. And again, it just has some more clippings off of my bushes. And I think they may have actually rooted and you can see where I've got some new growth on them. So that's always exciting and it's a very inexpensive way. I know that some trees and plants will be more money, but of course the clippings are just a no brainer. It's just so simple. A great base, some greenery and off you go. Now you saw over on the other side where I already had some artwork hung up, but I also have this beautiful piece that I painted myself. And I'm, I definitely don't have any spectacular artistic skills. It's easier to do an abstract piece. If you asked me to do, you know, a, an oil landscape, I would be sunk. I wouldn't even know where to even start. But when it comes to artwork, hanging artwork can really create a very luxurious feel. I would suggest if you're trying to create a luxe look to avoid any kind of artwork that has sayings on it, that has a lot of words, I would avoid anything. Uh, they, you know, I see a lot of times people have like little signs made out of wood. I would just avoid a lot of that kind of stuff. What you want to do is really create just a, a more high and elevated look with your artwork. So this was a, I think I maybe spent $49.99 at Home Goods. It was great because it came with the frame and it was perfect for in here. I just needed a really big piece and this was the piece that would really fill out the space. But I hated the artwork that was on it. It had the glitter in it, which if, you, if you're a subscriber of my channel, which I hope you all are, but if you are a subscriber, you know I have a thing against glitter paint. It's just, it's not my thing. <laughs> and I know a lot of times in luxury interiors, I see a lot of like shimmers and glitters. It's just not my, my personal taste. So when that piece came in, I was like, this isn't gonna work. So I just literally painted the whole thing black. And then I was like, that's a little dark. <laughs> so I went back and added some brush strokes of this little creamy beige color, but it really is just that simple. So I think trying to create a more high-end artistic look with your artwork will definitely give you more of a luxury feel. It's not just hanging any artwork. I think that what you hang is also important. So I'll also leave some links for some abstracts that I think maybe you could look at. Again, CB2, I just ordered some from Amazon and uh, West Elm is a great source for abstracts and Minted. Minted is really good too. So I'll try to leave you guys links so then it can just, even if it just gives you ideas of what to be on the lookout for, and if you want to go check out my Pinterest account because I have an entire board of art and that'll just get your creative juices flowing if you are gonna DIY some art and maybe create something that's unique to your color palette and to your size and to your own style. One of my absolute favorite ways to really add a feeling of luxury is to add fragrance to a space. 
it's really important. I mean, come on, it's the bathroom, right? <laughs> you want it to smell really good in here. And I thought it was so great. My, my painter came through yesterday. We're literally about to have the uh, system installed into the closet and I'm so excited and we've had it painted and it's all ready. So definitely be a subscriber because I don't want you to miss out. It's finally happening, people. It's happening, I'm so excited. But he was here yesterday and he walked in and he's like, I don't know how you do it. Like, what is it that makes your house smell so good? Like, like be specific. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. Every room has its own fragrance because <laughs> my husband is nuts about fragrancing the house. But even though he was, he was walking through the bathroom as he was saying it. So I was like, that's a pretty good compliment. Okay. It's the bathroom. So kind of my secret weapons. I have a couple things that I do. I use two, I have a two layer system in fragrancing. I have little things like these beautiful, um, this is actually one of the candles from Madeleine. And this is not, this is not the most budget friendly purchase I've ever made. However, what I love about this is that I will have this for the rest of my life. And a lot of times if you buy candles, if, unless you're gonna refill them yourself, it's a lot of times you end up with a lot of the canisters and you end up replacing them a lot. What I love about the Madeleine is that the canister itself is worth keeping for a lifetime. It's handmade in Paris and it's incredible. This is the Terre Noir and I adore this fragrance, but I burned, I loved it so much. I burnt the candle all the way down to the bottom. And then what I did is that I used the lava rocks from one of my other canisters and it fragrance, you can fragrance the lava rocks. And so literally all I have to do is just walk in, shake it like this and it fragrances the room and it just releases that fragrance all day long. It's incredible. Um, you can also, it's a, like a reed diffuser, basically only like next level cool. Now, if you like the reed diffusers, I have another one back here in the toilet closet. I think I got this one at H and M, but it doesn't have H and M on here. I'm 99% sure I bought this at H and M. I will leave a link. I will definitely look cause I'd also gotten one from Zara, but I think this was the one from H and M. I got this, the sublime patchouli and it has hints of orchid and fig and it smells like heaven. So I have a couple because my bathroom is so big. I think it's good to have a couple diffusers if you have a really big bathroom. If you have a small one, one's probably gonna be plenty. But I like to fragrance the closet. Normally when I have it all put together, I have one in here and I like to have these little reed diffusers. Then when I'm getting ready in the morning, I love to just light a candle and have like a really, a little bit more of an intense fragrance. And that's when I have the actual candle that I have not burnt down to the bottom. This one is the Spirituelle and it is my favorite candle of all time. If I, ha if I could only choose one candle for the rest of my life, this would be it. It is the ultimate luxury. And the lava rocks came in the spiritual scent. So you can use the canister forever. So it is a little bit more of an investment up front. Some of these things do cost more, but <laughs> you can have them for the rest of your life. And I think that's pretty amazing. One of the other things that I like to do in the bathroom is that I really try to think a little bit more third dimensionally. Depending on the size of your bathroom, you may or may not have room. I, I've got a big ottoman that sits in here and I have plenty of space for a big piece of furniture. Not only do I have that, I have the black table, I have the little sculptural table by the tub, I even have a sculpture sitting on the floor and I have a hanging rack. I have so much furniture in, in here, it's nuts. Like I really wanted to create a living space. It was like a living room. And so I, I like to add furniture pieces. Now, if you have a smaller bathroom, don't fret. You might be able to have space for a small table where you put your towels on top of. Uh, you might have a little stool. Little furniture pieces like that will really just add dimension to your space. And they can be very useful. If you, I, I sit down on this furniture all the time. Uh, I sit in here, a lot of times I'll read magazines. If uh, Landon, my youngest, is maybe taking a bath, or if Jack and I are just hanging out, if I'm getting ready, he'll sit down. I, I like to have a stool or a chair in the bathroom whenever possible. I just think that not only does it create a luxury feel, it also helps you to really just sit and linger and use your space. And I think that is amazing. The final thing that I love to do in the bathroom that I think is actually quite budget friendly is that I really like to change out the lighting. 
I feel like this is a lot easier than faucets and, and tubs and all the things that, of course, we, we work in real estate and design. We, we renovate properties all day long, but the lighting is a lot easier a lot of times to switch out than maybe some of the plumbing and some of the other big fixtures like the tiles and all that kind of stuff. I think lighting is usually a pretty easy fix. And I found these little sconces at Restoration Hardware on their sales section of the website. And then I also have a Pottery Barn chandelier in here. And I think that these kinds of little touches can really create a very luxury feel. I wanted these lights to feel a little bit more hotel style. And so I just love switching out the lighting. I think it adds a lot of character and flavor to a space. And you can shop at places like Home Depot and Wayfair. I shop there all the time when I'm trying to save my clients a little bit of money. They're getting better and better at what they put out. And you can get something that has that sort of spa, luxe kind of feel to it. Again, I will leave all the links for the items that I've shown you guys in the video. I'll leave all that down in the show notes if you're interested in just seeing you know, what we've picked ourselves and what we recommend to our clients, I'll leave all that down in the show notes. Well, that is about all the time that we have for today. And I hope that this has been inspiring for you. I hope you'll hit subscribe and hang out with us a while longer. That way you get the updates. Always we love when you guys hit the little bell, it gives you notifications so that you know when a new video has also been uploaded. But of course we hope you'll give it a big thumbs up and let us know down in the comments which of these is something that you're already doing or which one has really inspired you to really get into your own space and do something for yourself. Because ultimately a luxury space is all about you. It's an act of self care in your own home. It's taking care of yourself and believing that you are worth you are worthy of that. And I just think that's really important. So I hope you do too. And you'll let me know down in the comments how you are going to treat yourself and make every day something really beautiful and create that sort of art of living that we talk about all the time on our channel. We just love it. And we just think it's an amazing way of living your life when you just create these things around yourself that make every day feel special. We love that and we hope you do too. So. Um, Thank you. I didn't realize I don't have my coffee. I just did a whole video without a coffee. <laughs> this is your first time tuning into the channel. You're going to be like, okay. <laughs> if you're a regular subscriber, you're going to be like, she went 24 minutes without a coffee. What? <laughs> I'm going to go hunt down my coffee and uh, my husband, who I think is at a meeting at the moment, and we're going to get on with our busy uh, design schedule. So thank you again for stopping in. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to check out the Brooklyn. You guys are gonna love it. Check it out down below. Okay, now I'm really going. Okay, bye.